This video is brought to you by Dynamic Custom Beadworks. Head over to dynamicbeadworks.com now to get your own custom video game sprite. You got the touch. You got the power. Oh yeah, we need to activate the note in this level. There it is! Oh shit, I'll drop my damn e-cigarette. What, Demi, you want the Skullgirls code? That wouldn't necessarily be fair though, like I, want, I wanted the rest of the mods to have a chance. Or we could fight it out in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ceiling of the Fuck, I got so excited I dropped blow. my cell phone into my cereal. <laughs> That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't PC, seen anything but, but a waste of Yeah, you might explosives. want to take care of that. Unless, of course, we're missing and something. Demi, you may want to take care of your cell phone the dropping that I would be into your cereal. This. There's something going on. Like, that, that's not a good look. <laughs> so this is Raiden's first appearance. Yes, this is officially Raiden's first appearance in the game. Well, in the series. Oh, and it's a gaming PC? Yeah, that's not a good look, dude. Like, on one hand, I'm looking at the chat, and I see a touch of concern. And then, I also get a swelling of pride, because I see nothing but a sea of swords. <laughs> it's like, look at all these people coming to support me. God damn, I got a lot of mods. No wonder the chat's scared to talk. <laughs> We all know who would win MKX. Uh, if I did something like that, Raven, you would be forbidden to use fucking uh, Spectral or Mac. Just kidding, you can play with whoever you want. There you are. Please chat speak, we aren't all assholes. <laughs> yeah, Mod Squad, roll out. <laughs> Your aim is like a stormtrooper? That's not good. Like, I was watching one dude play Battlefront, um... While I was catching... The misses up on Season 1 of The Flash. Ban me from MKX in general. No, I wouldn't ban you from MKX in general. I would just, like, much like Coach Steve or Jay Rosa, I would save you specifically for me. Like, you're only allowed to fight me, type of thing. <laughs> oh, there's people. Yeah, like, oh my god, I keep thinking back to Transformers Devastation, like, how hyped that game was, like, I had so much fun with that game. And, like, we, we had a good turnout for it, too, like, we, I want to say we had a consistent 130, 140 people watching it, like, Crash Course was there, Rivance, KFAM, Guido, Raven, a good chunk of you guys were there for the majority of it. Uh, JJ from Yo Video Games even came in for a little while to check it out. Oh yeah, it's God. 
Just so much fun to be had. Oh, it's just a camera. Fuck that thing. We're gonna blow that thing up. Fuck cameras. Alright, I know there's one of them I can crawl under. Where is it? Yeah, Crash Course was there for a good chunk of it as well. Ovi was there. We had some new cats show up. It, it was a lot of fun. It was a hell of a lot of fun. Thank God, that last boss fight with Megatron. Whoo, man. That shit was a doozy. The only grievance I would say that I had with Transformers right. Devastation was the, the fact that it was too short. A and and um, frozen I would have liked a more Explosives variety in the, in the pump characters. Room on the first floor. Because the characters were no this more than wrong. like skin. This is something only an and, um, would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't the, appear the to be the The characters were right ultimately kind of dictated by their transformation. And the quantity of explosives and the weapon they were holding. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, so, right? No. But outside of that, God, it was a blast, on. and I'm totally Get gonna play through it again. It was right. so much fun. I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. All right, so. That's two. There's another one. I gotta go back down to where I showed up out of the water. Oh my god! Skate Prodigy! Thanks for the follow, dude. Certainly appreciate it. Actually, let's check a little something here. Ah, uh, my man Reaper is not in here yet. Oh well. I'm sure he'll pop up eventually. Uh, it's about 9.30 now, so we're going to be going for at least a good three hours tonight. I can't go until like 3 or 4 in the morning this time, because I do have to work in the morning. Hey, clowns, man! Long time no see, man. How you been? God, I haven't seen you in forever, man. Like, since the Mass Effect games. My fucking god, Tia. Oh, excuse me. Demi. My god. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a person. almost tried to ban Demi. No, whatever Demi posts in the chat, I assure you, is not going to be anything bad. Demi knows better. Alright, how the hell? How the blue shit? I know I need to go down, so how do I get down there? Oh shit, slipped in the bird shit again. Hey Red Lantern, how you doing? Uh... Yo! Hey Rudy! What's going on, buddy? For some reason I expect Raiden from, Raiden from MK to appear out of nowhere and punch Raiden for stealing his name. <laughs> I'd laugh. I would totally laugh. Alright, there's got to be a way to get down to that level that I need to be at. It's not in there. In here, maybe? Not too bad, bro. How you been? I've been doing okay. 
just uh, doing my thing here on the channel. <laughs> Day one, slipped in bird shit, that is all. <laughs> Shut up. Underwear season year round. Oh, trust me, Demi. I, you know I know. Streaming Warframe on the one. Oh, dude, you stream? Fuck yeah, dude. Let me throw you a follow, buddy. Because I know you followed me a long time ago. Like, you were one of the first dudes to show up when I started doing the Beat Every Game I Own challenge. Uh -oh. oh, one major improvement that I love. In Metal Gear Solid 2, over Metal Gear Solid 1, I don't have to have the fucking key card out in order to open a door. Hmm? Go back to sleep. I can't pop him from there. Yeah, who wears underwear? Demi does, apparently. Nope, shut up. You ain't alerting nobody. Why are you late with your status report? Because he's taking a nap, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, man, didn't you know Demi's uh, real name is Jerome? <laughs> oh shit, they rolling deep. The situation is normal. All clear. It was nothing. All clear. Go away, go away, I know you dudes can't s well, well, yeah, you can kind of see the radar. Nothing here. Alright, so we got the bomb on that true Oh my god! <laughs> Aisha MSI, thanks for the follow, dude. The magic box, <laughs> yeah. That's a level three. What about this one over here? Is that a level one? God damn it. We. Who's there? No, bye. <laughs> Downtown. From downtown. <laughs> yes. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealthy, equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mind detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat. You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans.
So this is before Colonel, Venom gets his nano machines calling and himself his implants. Mr. X just no, he's already got nano machines. That's how he's able to it? communicate no. uh, with the Kodak and everything. Was, but he doesn't become cybernetic until the next game. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think? I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Mind detector. Whoops. <laughs> Nobody saw that. <laughs> oh, my kidding? Every single one of you fucking people saw that shit. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we just need to keep going straight forward. Jack, do you remember the day we met? With this I'm shit again! Busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right, sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you, in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting <laughs> that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we Yo, Raven, went look at you. ways from the museum, and then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. That's interesting. So <laughs> I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt times myself out. <laughs> I didn't care anymore who was right. Marisa A. Efron. Thanks for the follow. watched King Kong in your apartment a <laughs> Bitch, please time shut up. Night. Yes. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. Damn right you what? are. Take care. God. Noxious bitch, life and death situation. Oh, hey, let's talk about the day we met uh, and our feelings. Uh. Jack, you remember what the day we met? No, I don't. Okay, I'll keep asking until you do. God damn it! <laughs> a better love story than Twilight. Godzilla is still a better love story than Jack and Rose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Godzilla loved the fuck out of that Chrysler building. He really did. door. The E-connecting bridge. Nope, 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 nope. There's still a bomb over here. Hey, clowns, what, uh... Here, I'll post it in the chat for you, man.
Uh, be sure to hit me up like Thursday if you're doing like um, the Star Wars Battlefront beta and everything like that. That's what's going to be showcased on the channel Thursday. Is that where I came from? The heliport. Nope, nope, nope. This is where we need to go. Yes. Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of Alright, go ahead and add me, clowns, the and then uh, send me a message. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. Alright, we'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. I bet you we'll have. Like a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! Well, real you stealthy right now. Sound. Real stealthy. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. <laughs> Bad bitch! Cool, right on, dude. Thanks, clowns. Is she the only person to see through the box trick? I don't know. Every time I try to do the box trick, it never works. So. Probably not. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Uh, hello? Anyone up here? Yep, there's one. Right in here. And the tell her man, on the roof back once again, have I seen the Asian masculinity subreddit? No, sir, I have not. Two <laughs> stationed on the roof. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Right. You need to hear this, too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fed Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move Why fast enough. Why does Pliskin sound like He's snake? Right. I can try You'll the spray see. from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? 
Right. Except for those scentless ones. How about you, Bliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into Shell 2 in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? Ugh, here we yeah, go, another that bomb sub five story. Years ago, I messed up. Even with all my experience, crash I lost dude, it. Don't, God, and the church crash was lost in the explosion. Don't. All no those spoilers. kids playing nearby too. <laughs> Rybens has never seen these before. Years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding yeah, from the crime, okay. shielding I mean, myself from the public it outcry. Like, it, I wanted people obvious. to be sorry for me, for my weakness. <sighs> I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear yeah, I could put two and two together, god damn it. <laughs> this is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. No, it's okay, Crash. It's you didn't to be know. A shield. Has become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. Pete Dude I'm always reminded me of Carl Winslow. Hey, Carl Pete, Winslow. God yeah, a little bit. Me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for Peg Leg Peter. He's gone for good. That, that's great. We never asked for Peg Leg Peter in the first place. Carl Winslow and Schindler's List. <laughs> Power Claire, how you doing? console is this? Uh, we are currently playing this on the PlayStation 3. Shit. Motherfucker. Nothing here. There we go. 
I don't need the node for this one, but might as well get it for later. Extreme 4321, thanks for the follow, dude. I appreciate it. Our bomb. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have this one to go. This is just a question like that. How's Do I like bomb, Borderlands? Peter? It's um, a bomb. I liked Borderlands C4 for a and while. Quantities. And then, like, one in shell I don't know, it just, sure. it became nothing Somewhere but a whole bunch of straight. go fetch quests, Why are you so and that got if very boring and tedious with me, demolished. and the comedy shell in the game couldn't save well it for me, and I just got bored with it. You mean that shell two will actually sink? Not immediately. They'll still I thought the first one was good. Left. But I, I liked the second one, but I got bored with it, and I thought the pre-sequel was just boring. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those simplest C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. My favorite the, the best first I one. can do Yeah, yeah right on. The, fir the first one was the really good. Like, sound? I liked the first the shorter one, because it was writing people, right off the coattails of me the finishing Fallout 3. There's another and one in that those of you that have heard me you rant about Fallout before, like, I love it's the concept yours, of Fallout. Right? It's just I'm going to study the pacing of the game is so slow and boring to me that it makes me lose interest in it. So when I started playing Borderlands, um, I really started to enjoy it because it reminded me of a more fast-paced Borderlands. Why are you late for your status report? Actually, because I was talking, I didn't hear what he said. Let me see what he needed. Right. I've readied a sensor that's capable of detecting odorless C4. It's stashed in a safe I was hiding in, in the Strut C pantry. Fetch it. Okay. So, head back to that son of a bitch.